Hi, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. Working on our bed rail rotor sled, or bed rail CNC rather. I've got uh, my plunge rotor uh, base set up with the rotor set in it. I 3D printed a couple gears. These are uh, double helical uh, gears. Kind of have this nice little wishbone pattern on them. That helps keep the gears aligned. This is simply proof of concept. I have it connected now to my uh, little ramps board using a standard driver. And as I turn this, I'm getting the movement that I want. A little bit of stuttering there. That is moving. our rotor up and down nicely. Just a little bit at a time. And there I am you now trying to lift the whole rotor off the table, so that's not gonna work. So I'm quite pleased with that, um, with that result. That tells me that the stepper motor that I've got is gonna be sufficient using a standard uh, NEMA, this is a NEMA 17 motor. So using a standard NEMA 17 with a standard driver on the ramps board will probably work for the Z axis. I'm just gonna change this out. Uh, if possible, I may use a stronger driver than what I have there, but in general, I'm pleased. So, phase two of this concept will be replacing these gears with belt and pulley. So I swapped out our geared pulley, or helical, helical uh, gear rather, that I had on the shaft and the helical gear I had here, and replaced it with a GT2 belt and a new uh, pulley on the uh, drive mechanism here and um, that seems to be working reasonably well I am getting a little bit of uh, hesitation here as at least on upward travel the uh, uh, plunge rotor seems to be sticking a little bit on the base like it's not moving quite freely and I think it's because I'm applying all of the pressure on one side and with a little bit of racking going on, it's binding on one side of the pillar. I'm going to put in the uh, plunge rotor, the, the rotor itself now in the base here. Just set it in and see what, uh, what we get in terms of lift. This does add a fair bit of weight. Let's see what that does. So it's upward, and now we're going down. With the additional weight, it's not bouncing quite as much, if at all. And bouncing on upward travel doesn't concern me an awful lot as long as I make sure I have clearance when I'm bringing the router up. A little bit of bouncing right there at the very top. This is uh, higher than I would need to go the bit would have cleared the bottom of the router, so bottom of the CNC platform. So this is a bit of exception. So in terms of proof of concept, I'm quite happy with this actually. A little skeptical at first, but I think this will work. just barely clearing the cover of the router with the belt at this point. But the router does need to sit down another three quarters of an inch, so.
Okay, so proof of concept I'm happy with. Motor's not too hot. Um, it's just slightly warm to touch. I'll probably reprint this pulley, making the teeth just a little bit uh, sharper. It's not bad. I'll just watch it for a little while. I want to do a motor mount. I'm not really uh, keen with using a hose clamp as a permanent mechanism for holding it on there. And then uh, now we can work on the mechanism to move this back and forth across the bed rail. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.